I don't know how my mother and grandmother dealt with my mother's disappearance at the time. They never mentioned it again. Throughout my childhood, the fragrance of mother's milk was replaced by the smell of medicine and disinfectant. It hung like a cloud around my mother. There, when she returned from exhausting night duty at the maternity hospital. Still there, when after long hours of wakefulness she caught up on sleep at home. Her purse was full of pills, ampules and various steel instruments. Later, I recognized them as terrifying gynecologist's instruments. It was a macabre world, into which at some point every woman would mercilessly be drawn. If my mother happened to be home at night, she would sit up smoking and drinking coffee bent over mountains of lamplit medical books. Pinned above her desk were diagrams of wombs, ovaries, pelvises and vaginas from various angles and perspectives. My mother knew nothing of the world beyond. She would pointedly close her door when the Vremya program, Time, came on television with the lisping Leonid Ilyich Brezhnev. She didn't read the Riga Voice newspaper, for which a long queue formed on the corner of Gorky Street every evening. The lunchtime queue at the meat and dairy shop was equally long. You could buy the popular so-called doctor's sausage and butter there. But she had no idea of this domestic world. Yet beside the mountains of medical textbooks lay a half-read Moby Dick. <laughs>